Okay, today I'm cooking a pot of camellia, large lima beans, have two pounds. These are the best kind if you can get them. And I have them cooking in here. I didn't, I don't like to soak my beans. It removes all the good stuff in them, the uh, zinc and magnesium. If you soak them, like people soak them overnight. No, I don't do that with any beans. I rinse them. So I rinsed them and I'm bringing them up to a bowl right now. It's a big pot. And so uh, while that's coming to a bowl, I have my uh, green peppers, uh, one large green pepper, a large onion, and I use my garlic. I just use the garlic uh, that's already chopped. This is good. This is, you know, I don't use a lot. I use maybe a half a teaspoon of garlic. I don't, I don't like a lot of garlic, but anyway, I use that. And I don't always have fresh parsley, so I use the parsley flakes, and and that's that's good. Okay, so I'll show you my next step, though, what I do. Be right back. Now in my pan, I'm going to go ahead and add some butter in it. I'm going to go ahead and add my vegetables here, my bell peppers, onions. And I'll saute them. And then I'll add some garlic and parsley in a little bit. Have all my sausage here and beans. And now they'll get that flavor. about a tablespoon of butter in my pan to saute that. And uh, over there with the, uh, the pot of, sorry for the jumpiness in the camera, that's, that's my fault, sorry. I'm going to add to that stock in, I'm going to add some pepper. I have uh, some nice table brown black pepper. And I'm just uh, oh, that's a lot. <laughs> and salt. I don't measure it. So add it. And add more later. And cayenne, I will measure it in my hand because you really can overdo cayenne. So you can see that. I don't know, maybe a fourth of a teaspoon. I'll add that. Maybe add more later. I don't know. And get that a little stir. I think I'm going to add a little bit more water right now. This is cooked down. Okay. Remember, I'll put three 12 ounce packages of pork sausage. I think I used the Hillshire. We like that in our beans. 
get any time you'd like, so, but that's what we'd like. I probably will need more salt, more five later. But for now, that'll be good. Okay. So, let's get back to the, the, um, sautéed vegetables right there. Starting to get kind of that see-through look up to them. <laughs> get cooking there. I won't put the garlic in until they these are almost done. And I'll put some parsley in this also because uh, yeah, it'll burn if you don't wait. I'll also put some in the pot, you know, just to go ahead and cook with that. So we'll have all our seasoning in there. This is a good, good southern dish. Especially on a cold day. Oh, anytime. It's cold down here right now. And we want to have a good southern comfort food before Christmas when all the rich, rich dishes will be out. So this is going to be good. A nice big pot of jasmine rice. Plus I'll show it to you when it's all done. Now, this is, this is going into a pot of beans and sausage. Lima beans, the large butter beans.
mixing it all up. And I'm just going to let it cook, but I'm going to add some more water. It's full. <laughs> and once it starts cooking, it's going to thicken. And I'm going to show you how to get the best gravy. that you can get with this llama beans or any other beans you cook. So, hold on just a minute. Okay, this is our beans cooking. We'll be back later on and I'll show you what it looks like and everything else. Okay? Okay. Okay, my, the beans are getting there. They almost cooked. They're cooking, they're cooking away in there. So, and my husband is preheating the oven. He's getting it ready. And he got together the cornbread mix and he's got it sitting here in the black iron skillet ready to put it in the oven. So soon we'll be having some lima beans, cornbread, and rice. And I'll be back to show you everything in a little bit. Mmm, it's gonna be good. Okay, be back in a minute. Okay. Thank you all for being here. This is my plate of food. <laughs> That's my lima beans, sausage, and cornbread my husband made. And I know it's going to be delicious. And I wanted to tell you how I make the good gravy for my beans. Is What I do is, in the big spoon that I mixed it with, I take a smaller spoon and I mash some of the beans. I do that with all my beans and it makes the, the gravy thick. You never have to put flour in your beans. Just mash, some of, just mash some of the beans and it makes the best gravy you can have with it. So it's piping hot right now and I'm getting ready to eat my supper. I appreciate you all for being here. Um, we live in the New Orleans area and so this is how we cook. And you probably do too. But thank you again for being here. I appreciate it. See you again soon. And have a Merry Christmas, everyone. Okay. Bye-bye.